a comprehensive performance of huge assurance and no little style and real composure. Uh, Wales were in trouble here. They went behind early. They were four to one second favourites for this game. Belgium um, cruised into the quarterfinals with a 4 0 win uh, against their opponents, Hungary. Wales got here courtesy of an own goal against Northern Ireland. And one wondered how they cope. The answer is they coped superbly despite their fans being hugely outnumbered in the stadium. We're only about 10 miles from the Belgian border here and it has been uh, a little Belgian all day, but it is the Welsh fans who are celebrating this evening. Uh, in the fan zones, both at home in Cardiff, where there was a rapturous reception, and also here in Lille, where even in the fan zone, uh, they were outnumbered about five to one. Uh, but the Belgians were left in no doubt who had won. Um, a really memorable night for anybody here in Lille and a memorable night for Welsh sport. It's uh, quite hard to think of anything that comes close, certainly in association football. Uh, they've never got to a semi-final before of a major tournament. Uh, their enjoyment in the stadium, I can tell you, was added to by the fact that they were happy to remind people they've uh, not just uh, knocked out Northern Ireland, but they've outlasted England uh, comfortably in this tournament, embarrassed. Uh, the English one would say they're the, they'd already, they've already won the Home Nations prize and they're rolling on to Lyon where they will play Portugal and Cristiano Ronaldo, of course, Gareth Bale's teammate at Real Madrid. Uh, and Paul, just to look at the, the hurdles they've knocked down, first time they qualified since 1958, they uh, came top of the, uh, the group uh, even though England beat them. Uh, I think the bookmakers now have them down to 8-1 to one to win Euro 2016, down from 25-1. to one. Um, However, they have got to get past Ronaldo and Portugal. Uh, what do you reckon? Well, I think 8-1 to one still sounds to me like a pretty good price. They're in the semi-finals. They're one of only two teams that are. Um, one would, of course, never advocate um, uh, any kind of um, wager. But I, I, that sounds like to me a good price. They've got to, they're going to be playing. Of course, they're in the, what's been seen as the weaker side, the softer side of this draw, um, which England managed to play themselves out of. Uh, on the other side of the draw lie Iceland and France who will play, and uh, they play on uh, Sunday, and then before that, Italy and Germany. And you would look at that and think that a semi-final, perhaps France and Germany or Italy, that would provide uh, the other finalists, and they would be really formidable tests. But I think they can beat Portugal. Portugal have been uh, dogged. They're a skillful side, but they've got a manager who's keeping them on a very tight leash. They're waiting for Ronaldo to deliver at this tournament. He hasn't yet. Uh, they're extremely hard to beat. Uh, but a lot of that would apply to Wales as well, who have a player in Gareth Bale, who Ronaldo knows very well uh, from his club days. He also costs a little bit more than Ronaldo, which Ronaldo doesn't like. But I think a f the final is absolutely on for them. Uh, here's a thought for English fans. Iceland versus Wales in the final, that would be one to, uh, to savour for those still smarting from what happened to Roy Hodgson's side. But a historic night for Wales here, and the story so far... Uh, of Euro 2016. Iceland beating England was good, but Wales reaching a semi-final is something not many people expected.